Hey guys, Sarkar from Sarky Tech and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to hide the camera hole cutout on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So let's dive in and get started right away. I'm also going to show you guys why this could be useful in certain situations. So normally when you launch an application, let me just launch the Twitter application here, you are going to see on the top, you're going to see the camera hole cutout. Now it is actually possible to hide that camera hole if you don't like it. And also for certain situations where it could actually be beneficial. So first let me show you how to actually hide it. So what you do is you go to your settings, then you go to your display, and then what you do is you scroll down just a little bit and you go into full screen apps. At the bottom, you're going to see two tabs. You can skip this one and go to the camera cutout tab. When you click on this guy, you can see that's the show camera style, which is what we have right here. And then here we have the hide camera cutout that puts a black bar on the top, hiding the actual cutout. Even says right here, you can hide the camera cutout area by covering it with a black bar. Now it used to be that you just pressed a button and it just hit the camera cutout across the device, but that has been changed. Now what you can do is you can hide the camera cutout based on the app. So you can fully customize what app uses the camera cutout and what app doesn't. So let me give you one example. I'm going to go all the way down. All right. Let's just use YouTube as an example. I'm going to tap over here and you can see that with YouTube application, I do want to hide the camera cutout. So if I go out right now and if I launch the YouTube application, you are going to see that the camera cutout has been covered by a black bar. Now without the option, let me just say show, show camera cutout. Look at what happens now. If I tap on this guy, it actually shows the camera cutout. Now, why would this be useful in an application like YouTube? Let me show you why. So let's say I'm playing a video. Okay, let's just go full screen with this guy. I'm going to change the orientation. And when I pinch out, you can see the whole screen is filled out, but I have that camera hole cut out. And for some people, it might take away the immersion of watching a full screen video. Okay, some people like to watch the video just like this, but they don't like the whole cutout. It's all personal preference. So when you go outside here, let me just X that out, go back into the settings. Okay, let's go over here. Now I'm going to say hide the camera cutout and now see what happens with the YouTube application as you watch a full screen video. So it is still there. I'm going to tap on play. I'm going to go full screen. Okay. And I'm going to pinch. Look at what happens. We do not have the cutout. There's a black bar. Some people simply enjoy this a little bit more, even though personally, I don't care about it because uh, this black bar here makes it uneven with this side, but some people are more bothered by the whole cutout than the actual bar. So this is an option that you have with your phone. And like I said, it is a very nice option because it only applies now on a per app basis. Again, you go to your settings, go to your display, you scroll down and you go into the full screen applications, go to camera cutout, and you can choose individual applications where you want to hide it or you want to show it. All right. So in this video, that is exactly what I wanted to show you guys. I also want to let you know, this is also possible on all the phones running 4.0. So S22 Ultra is 4.1. It has this feature, but other phones with One UI 4.0 are going to have it as well, such as the Note 20 Ultra, S21 Ultra, and so on and so forth. All right. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day. All right. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.